I just finished my first clinical rotation in med school, in my med school career, and I think it's generally been a turning point in my life and in my career as a doctor. Here in Humanitas University, it's only until third year that you get to go into the hospitals and you have nine half days at a specific hospital that you're assigned to and you also are assigned to a rotation, a specific department that you're going to be rotating to. And rumor says, I'm not exactly 100% sure, that the first semester, if you get a clinical rotation, for example, oncology, as I did, next semester, you'll get a surgery one, a surgical one, for example, general surgery, cardiothoracic surgery, etc. And well, I said it, I spent my nine days following around a doctor in the oncology department of a Humanitas Hospital, and I learned so, so much about medicine, about being a doctor, about what you need, about myself, about patients. It was honestly, I think, um, it'll mark a before and after in, in my life, for sure, and definitely also in my medical career as a doctor. And I thought I should talk about it because A, it's exciting, right? Like my first medical rotation, it, it was great. I, I learned a lot. But it was also a really tough one, personally. Like some people might might disagree, might might find some some other things to be tough. But emotionally, for me, I found it really tough to rotate through that department. And um, honestly, my um, I mean, look for starters, I'm not gonna mention any names or details or anything. A because it would be uh, illegal, right? Because patient confidentiality, even if I'm not a full doctor yet, but also because it makes it, it doesn't add or subtract anything from my story and from what I learned. Um, I was rotating not in the hospital that is right next to the university, but in one that is around an hour and 15 minutes away. And yes, the university does arrange transportation via a, a, a bus, for those of you that are wondering. And I think that's where kind of my story begins because it's when everything began to feel real. I obviously knew where I was going and what I was doing, but it wasn't until I was on the bus talking to my classmates who were doing different kinds of, of uh, who were rotating different kinds of specialties that I was like, wow, I'm going to go into the hospital and talk to a real doctor who does this for their whole life, who has been doing this for their whole professional life. And I'm also going to go talk to patients. And these are real men and women that have been going through well probably one of the worst um or or saddest parts of their life as they receive diagnoses and as they have to confront their illness and their condition and it really started to pile on to me emotionally like what i was going to go see and and i was trying to figure out what my role was going to be in the hospital because the, the, the thing we're told we're going to do is history taking in Italian, um, which consists of sitting across the patient and asking them questions about their current like symptoms and, and their previous experiences about if they take any meds, if they are allergic, family history, etc. And also the physical examination, which um, is listening, like auscultation, percussion, palpation, etc. And I was already nervous about that, but it was also the nature of the specialty I was going to that made me even more nervous and made me more, um, I think I, 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 in, in that bus ride, in that one hour, I really went down a little rabbit hole of of things I was going to have to see and creating expectations for them which wired my brain a bit weirdly and if you want to look into that a bit more you can google the Pygmalion effect I'll put it down here but um I think it was already a bad start to what I was perceiving to be a bad first rotation and so with this um mindset there already um we got to the hospital we got our name tag and we were told to go to the to our doctor's office in in, in the buildings or in different buildings um to find them and i did my doctor ended up being 
incredibly sweet, incredibly kind and patient with me, with my lack of knowledge, with my lack of a perfect fluent Italian, with my questions, with my mistakes. It was overall like, like they made my experience so much better than it could have been if I had gotten doctors that other, other of my, some of my classmates got that would leave them alone or not really see them or would like shove them off with like a, with like um, a resident, etc. And so my, my doctor was, I, I got to talk to them about um, why they do oncology, how they do oncology, um, how they separate work from life, how they manage to treat each patient as they deserve to be treated, etc. And she, and she would, and they were very open about their, their job, what it implies, what they do, how they manage it, etc. And it was something that throughout the first four days, I really struggled with. I was very, I was quite down in my mood. It kept coming back to me what I had seen the day before or, or the, the afternoon before, what I had talked to, the stories I had heard, because throughout the, the, the nine days, I talked to around 12, 13 patients, all with different diagnoses, all in various um, stages of their care and of their um, treatments. And it, it, I think the, the peak of these first four days that were so burdensome to me emotionally um, was when during a history taking, I was talking to a patient and when I asked them about their family history, they expressed very, very clearly this desire to, to keep living. They, they talked about their children and how they still had things to live for. They still had places they wanted to be, things and events they wanted to witness. And I couldn't finish the history taking because of the, the, the emotional condition and the fact that, that I mean, you, the patient was unwell and, and, and our first priority is to make sure that the patient is well before before we go on with our education and so when the patient became unwell you're like okay like don't worry about it we're done um <laughs> take your time be well and then then we can continue this another time if 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 necessary etc but this was this was to me the um i think the, the pinnacle of uh, this was before the weekend a few days before the weekend a couple of days before the weekend and the day after that I saw um, a patient that was around my age in, with another critical disease diagnosis and I did their physical examination and that was also very impactful for a different reason because they were completely fine emotionally. They were smiling, they were making jokes with, uh, with my doctor, they were my tutor. They were perfectly fine emotionally or so they seemed to me as somebody that knew them for 30 minutes 45 minutes but i couldn't help but empathize and 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 sympathize with with these two people that i had talked to specifically this one patient who clearly felt like it was unfair her di their that who clearly felt that their diagnosis was unfair and this other patient who was is my age and is in a very different place than I am. After the, after seeing these two patients, it was thankfully the weekend. And while those two days were, were critical in, in in my experience, thankfully they wouldn't thank, thankfully the, the, the interaction that would make or break my 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 experience in this in this uh Department was happened in my last day. It was it was my very last patient, uh, which is not <laughs> very convenient for for the video, but not <laughs> but it's, it's real. Uh, and so I, I I go into the weekend feeling heavy, feeling sad, feeling overwhelmed, feeling uncertain about maybe my path in 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 medicine or at least my path for these next five days that I have to do 
um, and with, with, with the help of, of my family and, and my friends and professionals uh, that I talked to and that I sought, um, I went into, into the next, uh, well, first the, I, I, I expressed myself and all my feelings uh, and that was itself quite cathartic. However, like it, it wasn't, it wouldn't have been enough, right? And so I, with the feedback that I got from them, um, my family, my friends, and like professional feedback, um, I went into the um, the the wards, the the hospital, the department in a much more. I was feeling more certain about my role. In the hospital, um, I think in the first four days I became, or 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 because of, of my lack of, of, of tools on how to navigate this, I became a little bit. Um, I I lost I lost perspective and 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 I lost the role of, of being the person that is taking care of. Um, and so I I came back to the hospital much more capable or at least with, a, with better tools to, to do that and so my last five days were still quite um, emotionally intense and burdensome and um, it didn't that part at least um, the, the emotional burden that the patients um, carry and and that you as, as a caretaker listen to and and absorb and 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 uh, interpret and honestly keep Right? Like, like they don't, you don't just personally, I didn't just forget them the next day or five minutes after or two hours after, like you, you keep parts of them, parts of them stick with you. And, and that personally for me in, in those nine days didn't change. It was more having the tools to, to having kept that, dealing with it more appropriately and, um, and, 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 uh, dealing with it more appropriately and simply knowing how to handle it and so the fact and so the five days that um my last half was much better emotionally i managed to separate myself from 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 the patients emotionally to be empathetic but not sympathetic i i still learned a lot and i still engaged and i still did the history takings and did the physical examinations but I managed to really achieve that. I managed to use the tools that I got throughout the weekend to both still get that connection with the patient while, while like separating myself from the emotions that I had been feeling that had been making me feel so much more down and, and uncertain and overwhelmed, etc. And I talked, I think in total uh, to 12 patients. I did, by that I mean that I did their um, physical examinations. I mean, I'm sorry. I did their history takings. The, I took their history. Um, there, I think I must have done around ten physical examinations at different at different points throughout the throughout the the nine days. And I think the last patient that I saw that I did a physical examination to was a all um an elderly woman much like <laughs> many of them who were also elderly patients um who towards towards the end of the um of the of the consult with the doctor that i was sitting in on um she turned to me and said like you didn't say much which is true i didn't because i am i don't speak italian and i'm shy and i, I had nothing to say the doctor had it handled um, but I can I can tell that you were, you you listened and you you paid attention and you made me feel heard. Um, and then during the physical examination, she said she said um, that you also made me feel comfortable and you were very um, gentle and aware of, of how I I was feeling and you asked and you can't train that and that's something that you're not necessarily born with but you grow up into. And um, and that's what separates the 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 some some doctors from other doctors. That this this little human aspect that we have with with, with patients that I, I assume some don't. And so in the end, I think the 
as as I'm processing this because she said it all in Italian, uh, fast and in in with with mannerisms that 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 I can't understand because of my fluency level. Uh, I was kind of left feeling. It it gave me closure for the whole for the whole nine days because I came in the first day feeling scared, feeling uh, uh, vulnerable, not knowing how to handle it. It took me four days to really absorb all of this and to really suffer through these first four days emotionally, um, all the while trying to apply technical, practical skills that I need um, to pass my exam and then later to be a good doctor. And then these last five days, to really apply not only my, my my newly acquired and refined technical physical skills of uh, palpation, auscultation, and stuff like that, but also um, these these more abstract emotional skills that that I picked up over the weekend and that, that I, I was given over the weekend to really craft this first um, clinical experience into I think one of the most transformative ones I've had. Um, or I will have actually because it's my first one and and I'm really thankful for that patient for for saying because for saying that because I think a lot of times we might um, think things that we don't say well uh, that's that that was pretty much my my first clinical experience um, in more like for more practical terms if you've stuck around this far the bus would take around an hour and 15 minutes we would arrive at um, hospital at 1:15. That's not true. We would arrive at the hospital at two. Um, the doctor would come pick us up between two and two thirty from their office, and then they would either tell us to go take. I mean, they would talk to the patient, see if they're willing, see if they're able um, to um, to talk to a student, right? To help a student out. Um, if if they if they said yes, we would go up to the patient, introduce introduce ourselves, do this history taking, and. Um, and then carry, uh, go back, report to the doctor, and then maybe we would do another history taking, or the doctor would talk to a patient, and then the patient, um, as in like the doctor would do a consult, and then we would assist in the um, the physical examination of the patient. Um, I saw a lot of things. I saw different types of cancers and tumors and diagnoses. I saw different treatments. The doctor very kindly explained everything I asked and more. She helped me with my reports that I had to write at the end, etc. And I think if I had to, I would definitely do the, those nine days again. The only thing I would change is my emotional preparation. I think I would also want to be, I think I want to be um, less scared because I think my initial anxiety really modified how I perceived the events later after they happened um, by being by being afraid before. I think I, I might have seen them in a more negative light than I should have. Um, I think it's normal to be nervous and to be scared, especially if it's a if it's a, a, a um, rotation that you might be uncertain of. Like if you're scared of needles and and you have to do anesthesiology, or or you're scared of blood and you're into uh, like cardiothoracic surgery like I think it's, it's normal to be uncertain but I think if I hadn't been it would have been maybe a little bit of a better experience I think overall it was a positive experience and I think it changed me for the positive but um but uh, yeah that's part of the reason I need to take a break from YouTube um and then like I need the summer off because med school gets hectic and it gets intense um and I'm not gonna really edit this video that much so if you're still here thank you and um, I'll be back more consistently, I hope. Um, you can expect a tour of Humanitas, of the university, of the campus. You can expect maybe a Munich vlog from when I went to Munich a year ago. Uh, maybe a vlog of a life of a third year at, at, at Humanitas. And then also possibly a video about frequently asked questions. So if you drop them down below, I'll answer them in a video later. But all right, thanks for, for listening. And, and if you're in med school, you got this. And if you want to be in med school, you got this too. Good luck. And uh, if you want to be at Humanitas, text me and I can maybe help you out.